In the classification of hydroelectric plants, uh, we have seen the nature of the load, the head of the plants, and we have seen the quantity of water flow. So, according to the uh, head of the plants, we described the low, medium, and head uh, and the high head plants. On the same way, in the same way, we can also define the type of turbines which we are normally using for different type of the hydroelectric plants. <clears throat> so, in the types of turbine, we have two types of turbines normally, but in hydroelectric plants, one is called the reaction turbine and another is called the impulse type. Basic difference between these two turbines, the reaction turbine and thus impulse turbine, is that the reaction in the reaction turbine, the water is coming and the sum of the head is converted into the kinetic energy and rest is as it is as a pressure head. So the very thing, very much important thing in reaction turbine is only some part of the head is converted into kinetic energy. So some part of head is converted into plus the remaining Plus the remaining left is as the pressure head. So, what is reaction turbine? So, reaction turbine is what? That in which some part of the head is converted into kinetic energy and the remaining part is in the pressure head only. So, the thing which is important is kinetic energy plus the pressure head is in the reaction turbine. Whereas, in the impulse side of turbine, all the available head is getting converted into the kinetic energy. So all the head which is available is getting converted into the kinetic energy is called the impulse reaction, impulse type of turbine. So there are two types of turbine, one is reaction turbine, another is the impulse turbine. So in the reaction type, we have three different types, all the types. One is called the Francis type, another is called as the one is called the Francis type of turbine, another is called the propeller type of turbine, third is the Kaplan type of turbine. All these are under reaction of type of turbine where 
some part of the head is getting converted into kinetic energy remains part is in the pressure head only tensus propeller Transverse propeller and and the propellant type of turbine, all three are in under reaction type of turbine. Whereas in the impulse type of turbine, Pelton wheel is coming. These are the four names which are normally used in hydroelectric plants. One is called the Francis turbine, another is called the propellant turbine, and the third is called the Kaplan turbine, fourth is called the Pelton. All three, Francis propeller and Kaplan, FPK, all are in the reaction turbine, whereas the Pelton wheel is under impulse turbine. So, the what is the use of what type of turbine? We'll see that. So the Francis turbine is normally used for the uh, head of 70 to 500 meters. Up to 70 meters, my propeller turbine will be used and the Kaplan turbine will be used below 30 degrees or up to 30. Whereas the Pelton wheel is loose above 500 meters of height for the head. So one can classify according to the head that when the when it's a low head plant, we will be using the plant up and it's a medium head uh, up to 70 meters, we will be using propeller type of turbine and above that we will be using the Francis turbine up to 500 meters and above 500 meters we will be using the Titan V. So the speed also depends. So higher the head, lower will be the speed. So but obvious lower will be the head, higher will be the speed. So the Kaplan turbines are normally working at a very high speed of 300 to 1000 rpm. Whereas my propeller turbine is also among the same, is 300 to 1000 rpm. Means both two are almost on the same speed. Whereas Francis turbine sparks on 80 to 400 rpm. Coming to Pelton wheel, the speed is very low, it is 12 to 70 rpm. So, one can define now all type of turbine with the speed also, with the height also, the type also. So, if there may be questions regarding all the four turbines, which is the highest speed turbine, so we will then say that the plan is the highest. Speed turbine. And the lowest speed turbine is the Pelton wheel. One can classify these according to the height also. The 30 meter up to 30 meters Kaplan turbine is used, and for above 500 meter Pelton wheel is used. So uh, we can uh, keep them in increasing order of either in the speed, either in the height also. So in the increasing order of the height, we can use Kaplan, then Propeller, then Francis, and then the Pelton wheel. Increasing order of the height in which they are used. In the decreasing order we can also say that the Pelton wheel, then the Francis wheel, then the propeller, then the Kaplan wheel come. So this type of question may be asked in the examination. So please remember this way, the way uh, which is uh, given in this. So another part which is, which it may be possible that this is not visible to you right now. Now it is visible that it is up to 300 meters to 1000 meters they are used 
uh, sorry, 300 to 1000 RPM they are using, 80 to 40. So one can also classify the according to the speed, increasing or the order of the speed of the rotation of the uh, turbine. If the pentagonal is the uh, lowest speed, then the Francis, then the propeller, then the Kaplan type of turbine. So one can also accordingly uh, classify the according to the speed also. So this this is a very important thing because this thing is normally is asked in the third type of questions that which type of turbine is what going what. So please remember this thing. Apart from this, uh, one uh, another thing is that Pelton wheel since the speed is slow, so it is uh, always uh, uh, above uh, always below the uh, lowest tailless as well as the in this these type of turbine are always placed above the minimum tail press. See that uh, turbines, how the turbine are moving. So, apart from that, we have hydro generator which are actually generating the uh, electricity and which actually are the heart of the uh, your power system generation plant. So, in the hydro uh, plants, hydro generators are there and which are normally classified as low speed silent wall large number of holes sensors are silent wall so the diameter will be large Small Asian man. Everything is correlated to each other in the hydroelectric plants. So one can say that since it's working on the low speed, since they are low speed, so the but obvious the number of poles will be higher because we know the F is equals to Pn by 120 or uh, the number of speed is inversely proportional to the <coughs> number of poles. So the more number of poles will be there, lesser will be the speed. So since one and can say in the different way also that there are since there are large number of poles in hydro generator, so the speed is low, and since the speed is low. So we will be using the silent pole of the rotor and the silent pole because of silent pole the, the rotor diameter will be larger and uh, since it will be uh, larger diameter will be larger the height of the machine will be high but it will be compact in nature and the small axial length will be of the hydro generator. So one can remember this thing but have to remember these things that the uh, hydro generator are normally of the low speed, very low speed. It, they have silent pole of rotor. There are large number of poles in it, large rotor diameter, and a small axial length. All things are important regarding <coughs> third objective type of questions.